Hello, hello! Back again. Here we are in Cremona in my workshop, in my violin workshop, uh, cello workshop, double bass workshop, viola workshop. Um, anyhow, there's one little detail which I think is definitely worth talking about. We're talking about the tailpiece gut strain and its exact position. Why do I talk about this? Because everything is pretty complicated on the violin. It is a not uh, easy to describe shape. There is no straight line and that makes the whole thing so mystery, okay? And it's all about having all things on the instrument under control. And since the bridge, sound posts, and, 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 everything is a little bit like this, and when you carry it around, strings go down, and then it's a different... And this makes the whole thing that then afterwards it will never sound the same way like it was before. And one thing I always face is just here on the back side, okay? On the back side where the gut is. And what I face very often is that these strings are not centered, or at least it doesn't give me the impression that the maker or whoever pulled up the strings took this little time to check where is it exactly. If this end string here is not perfectly in the right position, you think it is the best sounding one, you're wasting a lot of time, okay? To make things a little bit more practical for a musician, just take your time, play the instrument, tune it on 440, 430, 444, 445, like in Vienna, and 443 is what I tune it, play it, okay? And then start moving. And let's say you move it on a little bit on one side, so everything is uh, a little bit on one side, okay? And then move it a little bit, the tailpiece, tune it again, because it might be a little bit different, out of tune, and play it again. You love it better? It's different. But is it better? Hold on. In that position, you come back easily. So just do the whole thing in the other direction. Tune it, play a little bit, everything, play it, compare. Once you figure out how it should be, memorize and remember this is your idle position, okay? And it could be that it is a little bit in one direction or in another, okay? Except it is an instrument which comes from my workshop, then it is very likely perfectly lined up if you look, it is straight, because I don't drill the hole somewhere. No, I just have a system where to put the add button and everything. For musicians, not necessary to know and I don't want to take your time. But just if you're a musician, you have to know that this has a very strong impact of the final result of your violin, viola, cello or double bass. Okay? And this is just in order that you have your sound under control and the difference, if it is straight in one direction or in another, is huge. Tell me your experience, tell me what it did with your instrument and write me here below. I know in Europe people don't write, they're all so shy, but you would make me a big pleasure if you just let me know something, a small feedback. It just makes my day, you know? And, uh, and I certainly smash the subscribe button. Bye bye. Have fun watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bene. Nina, ich bin fertig. Audio. Audio. Adesso. Sei 43. Qui hai spento? No.